Generic greetings and welcome back to the game formerly known as Production Line, actually formerly known as this was buggy as hell and for some reason it took a reload to fix it. They weren't streaming the resources in properly but a quick reload, job done no problem and um, as you can see we've now got a premium car production, uh, sell a thousand cars at a price point of 25,000 or higher, very good. Yes, so Chiefs and all of that. Anyway, um, in the previous episode, we set off and tried to make a hybrid vehicle, and that's exactly what we've managed to make. This is a hybrid production system. This is producing a hybrid SUV. Now we might do the same thing for a compact, but I'm not. Uh, but I'm not sure. Not at the moment. What we're going to be doing this episode is focusing on making an electric vehicle. And the electric vehicle is going to be built around here. The problem with that is we've only got two resource importers, so we're going to have to streamline things by adding um, or probably changing this resource importer so it streams along here and then does the job of this so that's exactly what we'll do now so we'll just delete all of this actually what we'll do is go into that we'll say demolish and we'll be able to demolish these a bit easier like so and even though oh, they're still streaming look at that this fly through the air it's because they've been previously ordered that's why that happens anyway so this is going to come along and then stream all the way along to here and it does the exact same job as um as this one is uh, currently doing so I'm going to have to get rid of that, completely get rid of it. There we go. There is our um, premium music, which we're going to say fit uh, upgrade all slots, because all cars are now going to have that. And then we want to go for larger battery pack, which is what we'll be making around here. So resource importer goes in there. And then what we'll have to do is just go over to our cars. And every single model is going to have uh, premium music. So it's going to be premium music. It's going to be a lot of scrolling. Premium music. You get the idea. Premium music. Yeah, hang on. There we go. It's just below QA. That's what we're looking for. That's the B plus. We've got a lot of car models actually. I might miss one or two off here, but you know. It's actually increasing the price of the car by a considerable amount, look at that. Music and obviously when we get to things like the sedan P and the sports P. See that's not got a hybrid powertrain. But I don't think we want a hybrid car. Oh there we go, and the sports P is now expensive. Excellent. And um, this one as well. Job done. Right. So there's that. So oh my god, it's still doing it. Look at that. I think that's just bugged. I think resource importers are bugged in this build. What I'll have to do there is bloody hell, that is very strange. Is probably build what I want around here and then save it, and then reload it to get it fixed. It's because it's not streaming along here. Very strange. Anyway, so we want a hybrid, no we've got a hybrid car but we want a lecky car, we want something made of electricities, well not made of electricities but it's powered by the electricities so, in order to do that, we want um, we might even go for an aluminium body, but uh, I don't know uh, we need electric powertrain we need a battery pack specialization as well which gives us the fit fuel tank option which is in the chassis specialization so fuel tank is in the very start of it, the very base one, so what we'll do We'll go down to the chassis. So we'll say fit axles, which will go in. Actually, we probably could break this down a little bit here just to get a little bit more of a premium model. Um, then we'll later break more stuff down as well. But we've got the space, haven't we? But we've only got two resource importers. Let's just try it. So we'll say fit axles, um, six seconds. So we'll say that goes in. Um, I'll probably put it back here because we've got the space, haven't we? That in there. Then fit the undercarriage. And then fit the fuel tank. All right, then the body, body frame takes a while, but we it would be nice to go for things like all these, because I know things like the door, you can get electric windows, which is generally classes, something you want a lot of. Um, okay, we'll just go with this for now, which is the body frame, and we'll have two of those in there, and then we'll say fit the roof, which is only four minutes, and fit the doors. Paint is, we will do this separately, so it's paint, dry undercoat, uh, we're aiming for 20, okay, we're aiming for 10 seconds, so 1, 2, paint, 
dry. Polish. We're going to run out of space. Engine. Powertrain. Why can't I go there? Strange. Um, that goes there. Radiator. Exhaust. We're going to have to spin it around and come back this way. So there. Exhaust. Wheel assembly. Steering wheel. Accessories. Oh, sorry. Steering wheel. Yeah. Accessories. Electronics. Quality check. Export. All right. Let's try and join all these up. Don't know if this is going to fully function. I don't know if I've messed one of the bits up. I probably have because that's just my default option. Everyone has to have a skill and mine is messing things up. So, let's just try that. Connect all these. Have to be careful because if they, if they touch another line, it can, well, historically, uh, not work <laughs> at all. Right, so that should be about right. Okay. And, oh my good grief, there's a lot... Whoa! Less UV hybrid, look at that. Expect of missing features. Not selling. Yeah, it's because they've got so many missing features, that they're just not selling. All the hybrids. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so the hybrid... We'll reduce the... Uh, we'll reduce the premium on it a lot. We're going to keep it at a mid-range, I think. See if we can sell a mid-range. Uh, we might even do a another marketing campaign. Boost your general brand image resulting in large number of customers visiting your showroom considering purchasing your cars regardless of model. Okay. Slowly going down. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So, importers. Um, why is this not working? Oh, because of this, of course. It's going to have to be a reload on that one. Okay, what I'll do is I'll put them all in, and then I'll have a quick reload, and we'll see if it works. So, resource importer. Goes there. Conveyor. We'll go from there. Um, and along. Like that. These ones, what we're going to do is have it stream along. To there, to there. Not very efficient, this. But to be fair, nobody's ever accused me of that anyway, so we're fine on that on that front. Um, into that one and that one and that. That sh technically should be all connected up, right? Um, and for a start. Stop making this down B plus. We'll, we'll add the hybrid if nothing else. And then we'll have to go around and add all of the additional bits. But when we make our car, and we'll make it in a second once we've got this battery pack, I'll uh, redesign it. I'll redesign it so everything that can be added on here will be added to that car. That's going to be the plan. That's going to be the plan. Don't know if it's going to work as a plan, but <laughs> we'll give it a go. <laughs> so we're on nearly 95% here. It'll almost be completed soon. And then we'll go for... Probably adding more premium stuff in here, like aluminium body and such, because that's always a, a nice thing. The car's still going down there, um, so that's good. We're actually selling cars where I've just got like loads just sitting in the showroom. And that's their uh, fuel tank upgrade, so we'll upgrade everything. That's for the electric one. And I'm just going to have a quick jump cut while I reload. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see, a uh, quick load, and there's all the things streaming in. So, we can now go to... Well, we'll pause it a second. We're going to go over to... If we want to make an electric car, I think the basic one is probably going to be a sedan, but it's going to be a fairly... It's probably going to be a mid-range sedan. So if we go to market, we'll check mid-range, we can see uh, the sedan is a 15 uh, customers per hour. And then you've got the SUV. So, yeah, mid-range sedan is the way to go. So we'll go over to... Uh, are we producing the Sedan M over here? Pick up M, change schedule. Sedan M is being produced over here. That is fine. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So, we will go to our car designs. Sedan M. We want to create a similar model. 
so it is the Saddam uh, E for electric. This is going to be the electric ones, you see. So, it's got things like aircon and all stuff like that, which I assume we've already got, but because I want to check it all, I'm going to work forward. So, axles, upgrades. Let's just buy all of the... Ca Let's, for a start, just buy all of the extra robots for all of the... All of the pla all of the places. So we have for this fit axles, no upgrades. Check. Next thing is undercarriage, extra robots, nothing else. Check. Fuel tank. That's where we get the battery pack, which we've already added. So that is in. Is it in? Is it actually in B just for battery pack? No. L for large battery pack. Got, yeah, large battery pack. Added. So you can actually add that without having an electric engine in it. <laughs> without electric motor in it, which is very strange. Fit body frame, nothing else to do there. Uh, these are the same there. Fit roof, we've got sunroof, panoramic sunroof and open top, and predictive stop control. So, which is the most expensive? Um, Don't think... Uh, I think panoramic sunroof is probably the way to go. So we'll say buy that one. So we'll go down to panoramic sunroof there. Open top. I don't think we really want open top. Mm. It's not even in there. Don't think we have the option for this one because it's a sedan. That would make sense. Okay. So panoramic sunroof is better than the sunroof, which is why we've got that. Doors. No upgrades in there. Undercoat, we've got high pressure nozzles, which we'll buy. Um, the fans will go for turbo drying. and Well, faster drying and turbo drying. More high pressure nozzles there. They've already got their turbo drying. No upgrade for the polisher. So we've now got stop start engine. Yes. And electric powertrain. Yes. So we want to have stop start engine. And electric powertrain. There you go. Already mid-range. Look at that. We haven't even got adding all the other stuff yet. So that's that one there. It's going to come down. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. So we want in-car music. Buy. And I'm pretty sure this already has it. But we're going to check anywhere. Yes. Premium music. Yep. Voice recognition. Yep. Sat nav. Yep. Bluetooth phone support. Is that it? Yeah. So Bluetooth phone support. There it is there. Okay, that's fine. That was our... Um, ooh, that's wrong. I'll have to change that in a second. Yep, that's fine. Okay, done. And then you've got your final quality check. Right, so we're sorted there. Just going to get rid of these. And then we will actually have this connected up properly. There we go. Right, so max speed that out. Let's see how that one goes. We're working on touchscreen interface at the moment. Um, simply because, well, it gives us some nice money. I'm going to actually get rid of that design studio because it is not needed at all. Um, and instead, we can go for, if we really wanted to, a... Uh, a research office. Or can we go for... Oh, we can't go for a research centre. There's the research. Extras there. So this, we now change to the sedan E. And we're not going to produce the hybrid. Oh, we could produce the hybrid. No, I like this. I like this. The idea of this is always producing. Oh, there's the battery packs. Look at that. Yes. I like that. Electricity. Good. What's with specific unsufficient results? There it is. <laughs> yeah, so we're now producing the electric cars. I like all this is, I like the idea of this is all being electric. Uh, that says insufficient resources as well. I'm not entirely sure why since it is connected up. What's it looking for? What's it waiting for? Ah! Do you know what it'll be? 
This is one of the things you can't produce on site. Hybrid powertrain. Requirements hybrid powertrain. Oh! Oh, okay, that's... Oh, sorry, that's, that's my fault. There we go, now it's done. Because I didn't plan on this... This line having the hybrid cars come off it. I didn't buy the upgrade for it even, but the first couple of cars were set to, um, were set to, uh, the hybrid, so that's why that happened. That's okay. That's fine. Um, in terms of cash, job done. Uh, 3.7 million and only going up there. Uh, and eventually we will have, look at that, our, 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 our cars are flying off the shelf. We should probably put the premium up, actually, because they're very, very desirable these days. But, um, no, we'll not be greedy. We'll not be greedy. Uh, next slot not found. Ah, oh, high octane output. Uh, there's another achieve. Um, what have I missed out on there? It is upgrading. Oh, that's now touchscreen interface. I'll upgrade existing slots, and I'll check that in a moment. But why quality check? Oh, that's why. Done. By the way, I did fix the one that was over this corner here. I know I actually had that one similar thing. It was going around the corner. Um, oh, it didn't go around. And it's probably going to have the same problem here as well. Yeah, that's all sorted now. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to go for aluminium body. So, touchscreen interface is in the fit dash board, which I believe we have not got around here. Yeah, I haven't got around there. So, the dashboard is one of the M models. Yeah. So, it's all of the premium models. So the Sports P will have. It's not going to be a hybrid. We could make it hybrid. Nice premium. Look at that premium. Boom. Um. And you can put large. Oh my god! You put large battery pack in it. It does it as well. Ooh, that's a bit naughty. Um. Stop start engine should be in it for a start. And touchscreen in first. There you go. So that's the sports P. Sedan P. Similar thing. It's going to be touchscreen interface. And that should be it. Technically, the, the can the M's have it? I think the M's might be able to have it as well, you know. Yeah, the M's can have it. Touchscreen interface. Oh, we'll put it in the M's then. We might as well put it in the M models. See, what might be class as M now, mid-range, it's... Obviously, that'll go down as more stuff gets unlocked in Universal. Um, Touchscreen interface, fraud M. Touchscreen interface, compact. You guessed it, touchscreen interface, there you go. And I'm just going to check over here. See, we've got the powertrain. That does have the upgrade for hybrid and electric. If we really wanted to, we could go to car designs, the Sports P, create similar model, Sports E, and you have electric powertrain, you have that, you can even put hybrid in, oh no, you can only have one, it's sensible, electric powertrain, a large battery pack, and stop start engine, well hang on. Oh, of course you can't have stop start engine. It's bloody it's a it's electric powertrain. It's always stop start. <laughs> well, it's only on when it's doing that. And we'll knock that premium up too. Can it go past expensive? No. Expensive is, is the best is the most you're gonna have. We'll put it on as uh, thirty grand. I think it is. Is expensive the, the most you can have? No, there's luxury as well, which I have no idea what you need to have a luxury car. That's going to be quite, quite expensive. Uh, there's Y product range as well. We've now got a red colour. I'm banging out the achievements here. Okay, so this one. Change. Add new entry sporty. There we go. So that should do it quite nicely. So we are producing the E there. We're producing, well, we're producing the sports E there. We're producing the sedan E there. And speaking of the sedan E, I should really go ahead and increase the premium on that one. Keep it mid-range, though, because as soon as you go over to that one, you can see the air condition. Oh, no, we've actually got it included anyway. 
Yeah, we'll keep it that. We'll see if we can knock it up to there. Right, so I think we will leave it there this episode. And honestly, I think we might knock... I think we might call it there and job done on the series. Um, we've produced... I I've always wanted to do the electric stuff in the game. And I'm glad we've managed to get that done as well as the hybrid stuff. The only real way... To, the only place to go from here really is to continue unlocking the technology. And um, like more technology for aluminium bodies and whatever we whatever we get in here really. Like alloy wheels and stuff. Uh, and then go for full manufacture. But the full manufacture quite honestly would just be unlocking all of this. And then building all. But then we'd have to either start a new factory or delete probably all of this here. And it's just something I don't think is uh, worth it, quite honestly. It would be nice to, if we started a new series, go of the manufacture, play it a different way. As in, make it so we have everything manufactured on site first rather than uh, the other way around. So instead of going for technology, we go for high, we go for high capacity manufacture first. That's something we'll probably do in a new series. But I think this one's sort of run its course and it's job done. And also with the little issues with the uh, stuff, the importers at the moment in this build at this particular point, I'm sure it'll be fixed very, very quickly. But at this point, I think it's a nice time to just call it done. Hope you have enjoyed the video and indeed this series. If you want to see more of this or anything else similar, by all means, let me know in the comments and we will go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings from a factory that's apparently flashing symbols.